everyone, back for part four of volume two of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery and Wreath. So I thought I would add a bit of a blue Suffolk puff as my wreath. And I've got a couple of little flowers and a heart and some little leaves. So I'm going to put them all on. I think these little leaves were a present from Joanette, actually. Thank you. So I'm just going to do as fine a stitch as possible. And so I guess the only comment I have is that with the... Um, I could have made a really large wreath and put it somewhere else. But I've kind of now committed to putting um, two to a page, which may or may not work out at different times. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, this is going to be perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned for this one. Um, now, these ones don't have a little hole or anything, so I'm going to have to loop through. So not much else has been happening here. Went to a lovely, last night, went to a lovely Japanese restaurant for my birthday. Um, that was pretty good. Had a nice family gathering last Sunday, which if you saw Thread Thursday, I probably mentioned that already. Here. Funny how much we actually do and think we don't do too much at all. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Anyway, the Airbnbs have gone. Maybe I won't do that again in a hurry. Don't know. Wait and see. Definitely nice to have my house back. All to myself. Okay, I think the first thing to do... I liked the idea of having a heart on the wreath. So I think that'll be the first thing to put down. wibbly wobbly as is sometimes the case okay now this is going to be interesting get this down actually not quite sure if it's going to fit if the needle will fit through those little holes Under. No, it's not going to go through that hole. It'll go through maybe that hole, or maybe maybe I'll get a smaller needle. I'm going to manage that. This is a tiny needle, but I'm not sure if that thread will go through it. If it doesn't, I'll um, get a very fine thread, I think. Just realised I started this without my glasses on. Not wise. No, it's not. Okay. Let me start that one again. Okay. Right, take two with a finer needle and thread. Let's see if I can get these. 
fixed on where I want them. So I'm just going to go through the leaf if I can, um, unless the leaf doesn't let me. Oh, no, it's just that one particular hole isn't going through. So I didn't have much choice. It's not like um, it's not like a button. And it's not like this one that's got the hole at the top. I don't mind the blue thread through it, but I do like this little bit of metal on the piece. It just adds another element that wasn't there before. It sort of distinguishes it slightly different to the rest. These little smaller ones can't go through. All right, so I'm going to go back up over here and secure the stem just a little bit more. And then I'm going to put on the little... So this little um, red flower from Immy at Lots of Lace on... Lots O lace on Etsy. Um, I'm going to put these here because they'll tie the red in, but they'll also give a green, which I haven't at all got on here so far. It's almost like an Australian, lest we forget wraith with the red. Looks like a little bit like a poppy. It's a rose, but it looks like a poppy. This is what I really like about, I never would have thought to do this and I never would have thought to add this here, but the sp spontaneity of being given a, a new element creates a whole new little bit. Uh, so what I mean by opposite is that they seem to both be the same sort of dye and if I turn it upside down it it looks like a back so it's not going to be able to be totally symmetrical so that's going to go there and then I'll tuck that in under Get that tucked under before I get too carried away. So they're just tiny little stitches that are holding this down. Not absolutely invisible. But enough to keep these held down anyway, the, the metal bits. Now, something tells me I wish I'd have not put that there because now that I've tried to even that up it's made it look a bit skew if that's annoying I think what I can do I just thought what I could do is um, what can I use 
a little something. Nope, not that. Right, where are my threads? Right, let me just cast this one off. Right, but it's the one that's closest to the leaves in the background. around the outside. I've picked a blunt needle. A blunt embroidery needle is not going to work when there's a few layers of cloth it will not work that's for sure. Additional embellished uh, leaves around the outside here. So how's everyone going? What's everyone up to? Um, tell you what, we don't usually get such a cold, cold winter, but it's Honestly, it's been minus one degrees. I think some areas have minus three and other people will be saying, well, that's normal for us, but that's actually not normal for us. I mean, usually four or five degrees maybe in the middle of winter. So we've just had a very coldish spell. And... Um, Oh yes, I know people who live, uh, so I've got a friend in R Riddles Creek who said it was absolutely freezing out there. Um, my other friend who is down, um, where is he, oh, Ham Hampton, um, of course is a lot closer to the beach and he said it's been very cold down there and then his heater just broke down. So I'm not in it, because I'm close to the city, it's slightly warmer than the outer country areas and the um, beach side suburbs. There you go. See if this is somehow balancing visually it up a little bit better. I think it's carry it, putting a bit of weight onto that side. Um, right, I'm back, and honestly, I had a day or two thinking about it, and I realised I disliked these little bits and pieces and the way they were all wonky, and the way that I'd kind of got off track with my original idea so I pulled off everything except for the little bit of green and I started to make a little tiny wreath on a hoop and what I've done is done a whole starting from the middle working out and working out I've got little leaves that are chain stitches that you can see so just little chain stitches either side then I started up from the top and I've made a fly stitches going that way and fly stitches going that way. And now just down the bottom I'm just doing a whole heap of little French knots. And I am going to do a little, put a few little gold beads.
So there's just something to be said for starting a video, doing it because you feel that you want to get on with the next bit, but your, your brain isn't really into it. And so it's not as coherent as it should be. So I've got to find one of my small needles. I just double check that it's going to go through the beads. I think this is one of the needles I always use when I'm doing a bit of this beading or using these particular beads. Yep, they're good. Um, got a nice bit of gold thread here. Madeira, 200 metres. Um, I think that was from someone's grandma's stash, as most of my things are. Now I might, um, it's not, let's see how strong it is. No, it breaks quite easily. I think what I'll do is double knot the ends so as it's doubled over. It is quite metallic and you can see it's, it's actually threaded. So there's a gold bit of metal and a bit of fine acrylic or cotton. I don't know what it is. It's just called metallic thread. Right, so let's get a couple of beads in here. Just to add a bit of, uh, just an a, a bling element, a bit of bling. And I think I will come in and do them twice just to make sure they're secured really well. a good effect getting the gold on. Um, I might even, because I know what I'm going to do with this when I've finished, I might even do a double knot at the back as well. Okay. scattering them. I don't have to have thousands of them because I can see that they're already showing up really nicely against all the blue. So the, the thing I realised why I didn't like it was that I had set a goal for this particular journal and that was that it was basically a blue journal with a little bit of tiny bit of that lovely red that I like and that I had sort of strayed off my path so it's okay it's okay to pull it apart and it's okay to start again with fresh eyes Yes, I do love that with a little bit of gold in there. All right, that's finished. Now, once again, it's always an experiment, but I wanted to see 
if this idea worked. Now I'm going to cut around the outside. and the inside. I can't cut too close or I'm going to cut the threads on the back. So I knew I'd be leaving a bit of white around and that's okay with me. Well, I, well, I thought it would be okay. I haven't, I, this is just all formulating in my mind. So until I've done it, not sure how it's going to look. A bit wibbly wobbly, but that is what I thought I would do and see if it worked. Does it work? Maybe not. Does that work? <laughs> So I had intended to do that there. Um, I actually, I do find the part, the middle part of a Suffolk puff quite beautiful. And especially these antique ones that have been ironed and ironed and sit really flat. Um, as compared to, I'll just show you uh, something I'm not doing on camera because it's uh, just something. I'll just fold it all up. So these ones I used, that's not a very thick material, but these ones when I made them, they're just, they're, that's a thicker material. So they're quite bulky. And so I, I really like this, um, the antique ones, because they are so flat compared to say one I've made lately, which is um, out of a thicker material. I haven't even ironed them or anything. Um, I, I still love it. This reminds me a bit of a sea urchin. So I think there's a place for all of them. But now I'm thinking that was my idea, but because I can't get rid of this white around the outside, I think I'm just going to be putting it somewhere like that. All right. Do I want to use the gold thread again? I think that might be a bit too obvious. Um, all right, I bought this up from downstairs because my stuff's downstairs. I think that'll match because it's there. All right, let's just give it a little try, see how we go. But I like this. This is, um, I think, a lot of these ideas came from the 52 tags from last year with Anne. I think it's too thick. I want something quite fine. Like maybe just one strand of a floss. And maybe um I'll do an invisible, invisible stitch, maybe. Invisible. I mean, invisible does imply that you can't see it at all, but uh, I can see it. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm happy with that. I won't be taking this off or changing it.
the wind is banging around out there today. It's a very quiet Monday and not really much happened on the weekend. It's a bit difficult when Huss works all weekend. Um, it's not actually much fun really. And Lily's been away, so she'll be back tonight. And I'm sure I'll be able to inform you all in the coming weeks that she has been to see two concerts in Brisbane, two concerts in Sydney, and she gets back tonight and she's going to take her tent and camp out at, at the actual venue for a concert tomorrow night, all with the same person, Louis from One Direction. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be telling you how much she's going to be complaining in the next couple of weeks about not only not having any money, but about how sick she is. Because <laughs> she will have totally blown herself out the water in terms of health by sitting in uh, long queues and doing all of that sort of thing. And funnily enough, I don't know if I mentioned earlier in this video uh, because I've recorded it a couple of days ago or Saturday and it's now Monday. Um, my other daughter had gone with a group of friends to... So in Melbourne we've got the Melbourne Zoo. We've got the Werribee Zoo, which is more like an African safari type of zoo. And we've got the Hillsville Sanctuary. And if you've got a Zoo membership, you basically get into all of those for free. But there was a special event on out at the Sanctuary. And so Liz has got, um, well, she's got a group of friends that they do stuff together on the weekend. Um, but I think they'd had a couple of drinks and then they'd been in the car singing their heads off. <laughs> and nearly lost their voices, <laughs> but then all got, I guess they'd all just caught a cold off each other or something from having a few drinks and being out in the uh, air and being a bit, a little silly. So uh, I, I guess I'll have uh, two sick girls for the next few, over the next few weeks. Anyway, um, Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Anyway, Liz, Liz sent me a lovely little birthday box with um, a beautiful little bouquet of dried flowers which um, smelt, something in it smelt really nice. A little um, pink sort of uh, gemstone of some sort, don't know what, what it was, and a smudge stick and a bit of incense. So that, that was nice. I, it was really nice getting a present at the door because she sort of I'd saw, seen her the Sunday before, but not she hadn't um, brought anything along. I don't know why. It's just really lovely getting something at the door. Um, lovely man came and delivered it. Makes you feel special, doesn't it? <laughs> it's funny because Huss doesn't celebrate birthdays, and even though we went out for tea. Um, I've probably already talked about that at the start of the video. I've forgotten already. Um, for Japanese, which is really nice. Um, he's sort of been complaining ever since about how it didn't make him well. But he doesn't celebrate birthdays either, so he doesn't get the significance of, of it. He still was happy to go out for dinner. But yeah, Lots of complaints since doesn't understand, just like I don't always understand Ramadan. Well, I do, but I mean, there's understanding and there's understanding. All right, so my first panel is done now because I've got the wreath on for the second part. Oh, I just love it. I want to make a whole heap of them. They're so cute. Um, um, my book's downstairs, so I'm not going to sew it in. I'm just going to make this video and upload it because also 
I have that inside front cover of the book. I need to find a bit more material. I need to think about what's going on the back of the panels. Um, I've already got the bit of embroidery on glaze that, that'll be on the back at the bottom, but there's a whole strip up the top that I've got to think of. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. That's it for July. And uh, well, I'm interested to see in August what happens, where we go and what is next. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.